I'm blue, if I'm green I would die. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Mindsight Games. My name is Edsight. Today we're playing more Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. Um, I wanted to make note of one thing that happened between episodes. I went back and played the Fire Emblem Fates Revelation DLC before Awakening. Uh, and I highly recommend that everybody do that before you play Chapter 9. Not only does it help you gain levels with a couple of units, but you can also get another DVP. Does help. Welcome to the shop. Have a free trainee guard. Garb, I have not gone in here yet. The accessory shop is very, very fun in some circumstances. Um, essentially what you can do is go to the strong box. You can trade in materials for different outfit pieces. You can pick out the giant hair comb, all this jazz, um, and we'll go into it even deeper at some point, but it does, uh, it does start out minimal at the best. At most, if you have a peach farm, I would recommend getting, and not because I have a fetish for it, I mean because it is easier to work with, get the bath towel. And here's why I say that. You go to your main character, and yeah, that's literally what's there. You, um, it, it covers more than if you decided, okay, I'm gonna go here. There's nothing there at that point. Trainee garb is all right. It's not very good in terms of stat-wise, fashion-wise, none of that, so I won't be putting it on. But it is a, a an accessory. Um, you'll get accessories over time. I'm hoping we'll get to see the other portion of the accessory shop uh, being in our castle in a moment or two. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and kick things off with Chapter 9. Wanderer. Hmm. So Zorabia still lives. And she knows. She knows the truth she should not. However, there is no need to worry. I've already set a plan in motion. She will ease. She will be easily crushed. It's impossible for anyone to stop me now. The world. This world is already mine. It just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Who could you be talking to? Why are you saying that Zeramia is going to be crushed? It sounds like a nation instead of a person. I don't like this at all. I need to find Xander. No, no Elise. You shouldn't get involved. <laughs> can, can, Mmm. Kamala. There's something not right about Father. I sense something not of this world. I don't understand. If Sor if Sir Amy is in danger, shouldn't we help? No. No, we mustn't act hastily. One wrong step, and we could cause her even more trouble. As painful as it may be to do so, we need to hold back and watch for now. Okay. Alright, Kamala, if you think that's best. I got water today. Yay. It's gonna help me a lot. Oh boy. <sighs> By the gods, how many steps are there? I don't know. I don't know. However, using the eternal stairway is the quickest way to our destination. Well, um... You said that we're heading to Izumo, right? Truly. Yes, it's our best chance of avoiding conflict with Hoshinan forces. Izuma's declared neutrality and won't allow fighting of any kind on their land. <gasps> hey, is it just me or is the fog getting thicker? Nope, it's these guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's the faceless. Stay back, Lady Sakura. I do enjoy doing those kind of things. I will cut you down. Whoa, everybody, hold your attacks. The enemies we defeated aren't faceless. They're human. Unbelievable. It can't be. These are members of the Wind Tribe. That. <laughs> Bastard. 
Excuse me, kitties. Ah. Jeez, that jerk grinds my no. gears. It can't be. I don't understand. Oh, I need to get back into character. <clears throat> there we go. Mm -hmm. Was this a trap? A trick of some kind? Ow, that actually hurt. <laughs> what should we do? Oh, jeez. I shouldn't have smacked my chest that hard. Let's head to the Wind, tri Wind Tribe's village. We need to explain what happened. Uh. I think that's a good idea. May as well. May as well. Anyway. I'm having fun just messing with my neck right now. Okay. Need to stop that. Let's move on. Well. So this is the Wind Tribe? There they are. They're the ones that attacked our friends. <sighs> you got oof, excuse me. Home. You gotta wonder how quick they got here. You beat our friends black and blue. We won't let you get away with it. No. I won't deny that we fought your friends. I'm very sorry for that. But it wasn't our intention to fight with them. We bear no ill will toward the Wind Tribe. What did you say? Do you really expect us to believe that? You can't just beat people up and think there will be no repercussions. I've never seen them so upset before. Sir Amia, it doesn't seem like they'll be listening listening to us. Willing to listen to us at all. We should head to Repu Castle. Huh? Repu Castle? Why there? Because... I've heard that the Chieftain of the Wind Tribe resides there. If we are able to convince him to help us, he may be able to calm the others. She's right. And thankfully, it looks like the winds have calmed themselves for a moment. Normally, the castle is protected behind powerful, biting gusts. Right now, we may be able to reach it. However, there is no guarantee that the chieftain will listen, even if we make it. Do you still want to go? Yeah. Yes. We need to gather as many allies as possible. The only way to make that happen is to build trust with others along the way. Let's go to Repu Castle and speak with the chieftain. My name is Zoramia. You're the chieftain of the Wind Tribe, I assume? You are correct. I am called Fuga. News of your arrival got here ahead of you. News of what you attend as well. You side with neither nor hor N Nor hor. Ooh. PG-13. Out the window. There goes our PG-13 rating. Neither nor nor Hoshido. There we go. But instead wish to destroy both kingdoms. And you decide to begin with the Wind Tribe by attacking our brethren? It can't be. Of course not. Where are these ideas coming from? We aren't planning to destroy kingdoms. Our real goal, by we are seeking out allies, is to defeat King of... Sorabia, stop! Oh. Mm. Can't talk about that. Alright. Curse. What was that? What, what was that? What did you say? No. I apologize. What I mean to say is our true enemy is not one yet known to everyone. An unknown enemy? Has fear of death driven you mad? I've seen the truth with my own eye. Well, no, I haven't seen the truth, but I've heard the truth. Don't think you can gain an advantage by confusing me with your ramblings. If you could come a little closer, we're gonna head into a lake and take you to that place. Never mind. Eliminate these invaders immediately. Are we really asking the impossible? Is there no one who will believe us? What are you doing here? I've been searching for you. Your departure has thrown both Nor and Hoshido into chaos. Rumors are speak spreading that you plan to attack and destroy both kingdoms. I know that's not the type of person you are. I believe in you. Winka, thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I needed to hear that. The flame tri the flame chieftain's daughter now protects this dangerous woman. Why? This is important. I owe her a debt. She saved my life. If you, you can't kill her for a misunderstanding, and definitely not because of false rumors. I know Zoramia, and I know she is not the type to callously attack others. My father, if he was here, would at least listen to what Zoramia has to say. If only barbarians scream for death rather than justice. Oh, I expected such fiery spirit. So you're saying I should believe her despite all about I've heard about her intentions? You should be careful. Speaking without thinking is what you are... Without thinking about what you were saying. There we go. Ugh. I have thought about it. 
On behalf of the Flame Tribe, I vouch for this woman. Interesting. You really think that highly of her. Have we seen the Flame Tribe village yet? No. Does it still exist? Yes. Hmm. Excuse my rudeness. I did not have anything that would make me belch, so why is it making me belch? <laughs> Excuse me. Then you shall all have to prove your worth in the only way that matters. Combat to the death. No, fight me fair and square. Show me the strength of your character. Defeat me with your own strength without tricks or coward's tactics. We can do this. Looks like we're in for it, Zeremia. I'll fight by your side. Let's show them the best we've got. Understood. Thank you, Rinka. If winning is what it'll take to convince him, then I'm ready to fight. I probably should trim up a little on the beard. And here we are. Let's go ahead and check out the map real quick. Um, I did change up the unit structure a little in order to tackle the DLC mode. So Zoramia, Azura, Jacob, Gunther, and Kaze did that. The other three were just kind of in the wings. Um, got an idea on how I can do this. Um, Alright, let me swap you real quick. All right. I don't trust. I don't trust you to be able to hold up anything. So let's go ahead and take it on for a fight. At the end of the enemy phase, any of your units caught in the wind's path will be moved five spaces. If there is nowhere to stand, they will be moved to the nearest space. You can avoid this maneuver by using one of the dragon vein spaces causes all wind vanes that are going north and south to automatically do that, but they'll blow the enemy instead. I do not recommend doing the first batch because they do, in fact, terrorize your team. Or they do hurt your team a lot more than you would like to know. That steel dagger is doing pretty well. Um, let's move Kaze in here. Yeah, that'll take him out. Alright. No if I go in a different route than I usually go, I may be able to take care of all of this. Because on casual mode, I always lose a character, no matter what. It's it's not fun. Um, Um, and I'm going to show Subaki right here to show off what happens because literally it's not going to change anything for the rest of you the rest of the units. The main reason why it's not going to change anything for the rest of the units is all your units will be blown off the screen. And that's not something the game will allow. Are you serious? I'm curious as to what the critical hit chance was for him. Okay. See what that did? One, two, three, four. He was right here last time. He moved five spaces. This does it every single time that you let your unit stay like that on the field. Um, I don't want to hit him in one shot. So, I'll do that. <laughs> I was about to say, two shots is all he needs. He gets two shots, and the second one's a critical. That's overkill. Double overkill. We got water today. So, yay. Yeah. Iron club. Um. Ooh. Um. 
This one I'm gonna try. It left me no choice. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's too far. I'll try it. All right, I'll try it. I know it's stupid. But I'll try it. All right. Now, I don't move here. I move here. Now, Jacob moves in here. Yep, it'll take him out. Why didn't I switch to the Dragonstone? There we go. Take thoughts. Oh, it was a 10%. Alright, I can understand that. I swear, it's just like every time I turn around, back to the screen, boom. Jace, uh, Jacob gets a critical. Why, am I th why did I think Jason there for a second? He's not in this game. In this game. Alright, hang on. I wanted to do. All right, go ahead, kick you right there. Kick you. All right, you have a chest key. You have a chest key. And I want to make sure of those four units. The reason why and I completely forgot about this um, is because there are three chests in the level, and because you have Kaze, you can break into all three technically. But, because I want to be smart about where my units are at all times, I don't want to just barge in and... Well, maybe I do. Yeah, maybe I do. Alright. I don't want to barge in with Kaze to all three locations and have him hold on to stuff that he really doesn't need. Kaze technically can get items from one, uh, from one chest, and he'll be fine. If I do this... I love it. Intelligent systems may need to brush up on their brain age because I I, I love it. They're, they're games. They're beautiful. I love them. No doubt about it. You can you can literally you literally play these games over and over and over again for all eternity. Literally, I'm, I've I've played these games tons of times. But um. When 5% equals, when 5% chance equals pretty sure crit, and 90% equals 100% hit, that's just taking things a little too far. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna heal you, so that I can get that sweet HP too. Alright, now, what you can do, if you're caught in this situation, is if you want to move enemies away from you, do that when they pop up. It activates all of them for you. You can expend it on your turn instead of the enemy's turn. And it can help immensely. Steel dagger. Well, you would almost take him out. Come on. I need something with power. Punch. Pizzazz. Who damn house? That ain't gonna do it. Well, 
Alright, I'll try this. Real quick. Well, 5% is more like a 50% chance to crit. <laughs> that was kind of crazy, though. Jacob just went crit, 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 crit. Crit, 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 crit. Just... Oh, you want... Oh, you think you're gonna attack me? Crit. Just 100% crit. That's... Nothing but crit. Every time I'm in the street, I hear crit, 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 crit. Ah, uh, man, that was I, I'm I'm stupid like that. Uh, all right, I'll go for this move because I know it'll work. I only take a total of ten damage though. That's that other side of that coin. Oh, five for five damage. All right. This guy would have dealt eight damage to me. This guy would have dealt ten. Yeah, I could survive both blows. Okay. I can and I will survive both blows. I shall survive. You won't stop me. Would anybody else be able to... Okay, nobody else could attack me from there. Sweet! Um... You know what? This is worth it. Switch. Boom. Flick. All I need. Pretty good right there. Remain calm. I need all the strength I can get. Yes, you do. Especially considering what this mission is. Suicide if you don't have a plan. Alright. Hmm. Now. Goal. Get these guys close to the front. Not too close. Alright, now, Rinka. Alright. Hayato is definitely. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's his max range. Chest. Dual katana. Alright. So, one, two, three, four, five. Or five. Alright. Move out of his range. Staff. This way she gets some experience, and he gets some experience right here. Alright. I know what he's gonna do. My plan is to counteract this. I know that they're gonna bring out another round of wind the next round. Next turn. Yeah, it should be next turn. So, I wanna make sure that I'm ready for it. Yeah, there we are. Um... You'll fall right down this way. You would go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, no, you won't fall. You won't fall. Um. Wait, really? What about close range? Oh, he'd do damage to me. Um. You look significantly weaker than I expected. Are you really the enemies who attacked our tribe? No time for that now. Let's see how you fare against my magic. Take that. Alright. 
A lot better than I expected it would be. Um, a single shot would, would, would be all it would take. I'll do that. Get Hana some experience. I was wrong. You were stronger than I thought. That cut off her sound clip. That's why they don't do that for bosses. He'll be left with one HP. Be left with one HP! <laughs> That's kind of sad. He'll be left with one HP. Could you have done a little more, Hana? Wait. She can. She can. Ah. All right. You put up a good fight. Theoretically, I might be able to get through this. All right. One, two, three, four, five. He would be right here. I could swoop. I still have Gunter. Gunter is still pretty good. Are there any others that, yeah, you'd be swept into? Uh, not worth it. It is better for me to get out of that conundrum. Or out of that segment as fast as possible. Now. These two? Nope, never mind. You're actually moving over that way. Okay. Let's do that then. The wind literally changes nothing this time. Thank you. Alright, now. Um. Okay. I place Kaze right here. Just you right here, mend. Alright. I'm going to make amends. That won't reach. Alright. Sounds like a grand old plan. It's a big battle plan forever. I think it will work. Don't you try to say it won't, work. It won't end this way with me on top of this old plan. We're at the top of the play. I'm hoping I didn't mess anything up. Oh boy. Oh. My voice feels a little stronger. All right. Go here. Sorry, dude. Okay, come on. Okay. Here's hoping. Here is hoping. My age, I'm lucky. I'm not. I don't feel weaker. Well, you feel slightly stronger. Still have zero magic. That is the lowest stat I have seen in the game across all three playthroughs. Okay. Now's the time to get serious. Wait, do I have a chest key? I have a chest key. Wait! Did I not turn combat animations off? I was planning on turning combat animations off. Uh, op 
options. No, I didn't turn. I didn't turn him off. All right. I set him to my turn, not my units. Okay. That's what happened. Okay. What I was hoping to do was turn off combat animations to speed up the battle. Sped it up a little bit, but not entirely. I would have loved speeding it up a ton more. Alright. Worth it. Alright. Now. Bring you over here. Guess what we're riding right everywhere? I don't know. Big house. Hey. All right. Four twice. Take ten. Nine once. Take eight. I'll go four twice. Got it. As long as they have a 0% chance to crit, I believe I will be fine. Ooh, okay. I completely forgot about that. Her skill kicked in. When it KOs a foe, adjacent enemies lose 20% HP. I forgot to check out this one for you guys. Fiery Blood, the unit deals plus 4 damage when he or she has less than full HP. Fiery Blood is not passable to a guy, so I don't know why it says he or she, because it's clearly a girl who has this skill. Alright. Okay. I got 10,000 gold. Now, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Dragon Vein. It will do zero zilch not on the map. Yeah, no units moved. One unit moved. I say that and I move this archer all the way up there. How disappointing. Nine on the first shot. That's... Alright. Oh! I can take him. Pretty good. Alright. Um... There's the only one. I'll have him move forward. I never did get to get I never did get you in a fight, so let's go ahead and switch to you so you can use more mobility. Really? They're still getting reinforcements. Alright. Okay, that's the only one I have to worry about for right now. So...
Oh boy, nope. I I I I effed up. I effed up big time. I muppied up. I muppied up big time. Oh! Okay! I wasn't expecting that! And I dropped his strength even lower! He can't hit anything! Can't hit worth crap! The tribalist, of course. Alright. Okay. Naginata twice, take it out, boom. It's a done deal, Sun Festival. That's actually a pretty good item for use. <laughs> Alright, now. Boom, done. Done city. Because I want to meddle with the system, let's do that. Sorry, I skipped it. I didn't want to go through it. Like, slowly going boom, 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 this, that, the other, this, that, the other. Ooh, Kaze got a level up! Now he's level 8 ninja. <sighs> Check back. You know what? It's an executive decision. I think it could cripple the system if I let it, but I'm not gonna let it. Okay. Youth attack from there. Alright. Forgot that those shurikens drop your stats slightly. Strategy now. Okay. So that training paid off. Jacob to here. Finish the job. Gunter to here. Alright. Guess I can't heal. Okay, that's it. That's the only unit left. Alright. A little overkill if you did 57 damage on the final hit and you only had like 2 HP left. That's a little overkill. Alright.
All right. Dragon thing. I know what it's gonna do. My hope is that it works. It didn't. That made it work a little better. Better than you are. Alright. mental capacity for BS has yet to lose its grip. I don't know. I don't know. My mind is going in one direction. My experience is the other. Chest. Why? That's where the hair is. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that was very, very, very weird of me. Seventeen. Okay. What does he have equipped? He has an iron katana equipped. His HP is 35. He heals 5 HP every single turn. My best bet... Is to hit him fast, hit him hard, and make sure that he can't recover from it. Through this test of strength, I will determine where the truth lies. It's a nice oxymoron there. Oh, right. He has... Seal strength. After combat reduces enemy strength by six, it recovers one every turn. Ooh. Hang on. If I'm right... Okay, I can I can take him this turn. I can take him this turn. Anything else I need to do? No, I've done that. I said I can. I didn't say I would. All right. Compatibility, and it would take him to 12. That's not what I want. Alright. I know it's looking bad. Alright. Your strength is 5. Yours is 7. Let's do that then. Alright. Here's what I pray and what I'm hoping. All right. No. Uh. If I had a staff that could hurt enemies, I definitely would use it here. Okay. That is probably the best that I can do right now. Okay. Don't attack her. Whatever you... Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Can 
you... Yes, you can. I answered my own question. Switch. The game is won! I have beaten this mission! Hmm, well done. I can see now that I was wrong that I was wrong about you. I love it. He could have attacked me and killed Hana. I made it with every unit alive. Yes! Yes, I made it without losing a single unit. Thank you! Heart seal. Oh, crap! I gotta cease! <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna try... I'm going to see what kind of damage I could cause. Just... Theoretically, what kind of damage could I cause? Full weapon compatibility. Understood. Could get him to 12. It is so not worth the effort. It's worth the effort for Sakura, but not for anything else. It's worth that level up. Alright. Whew. Alright. Is anyone going to level up real quick? May as well go ahead and get that experience. Gunter can finish this up. Anna, what's your experience at? You're at 60. I'll let you seize the seize this battle. Seize the day! I did not use my dragon point um, in this recording. We were deceived. We came here to off We came here to offer our apologies and an explanation. I understand, Zoramia. I could sense no ill intent in you as we fought. You have a pure heart and a warrior spirit. I promise to explain the situation to the rest of my tribe. You should not worry. Thank you. Thank you, Chieftain Fuga. <laughs> ah, you remind me of Sumeragi. He would rejoice seeing you now. Excuse me. You would definitely make him proud. Huh? Excuse me? You knew my father? Yes. Oh, yes. King Sumeragi was a dear friend. We often fought side by side in our younger days. We were brothers in battle. Those long days are past. Or those days are pa long past now. You fought well today. I can see why you deserve to wield the Yato. Ah, uh, and yes, I know of that blade. Sumara Sumaragi once spoke of it to me. What did he say? Listen well. The Yato is the key to the Seal of Flames. The Seal of Flames contains limitless power. It is said that it is a weep. Weepin! It is a weapon capable even of destroying the gods that made it. Then it has the power to topple a god? Perhaps it could be used to... Truly. Yes, we have a glimmer of hope. Theoretically. Could work out. Isana from Izumo should be more familiar with the legends. I suggest you seek him out and ask, this, ask about the Seal of Flames. Our tribe will also provide aid for your trip. I believe the best choice would be... There's only one choice. I will accompany them. Oh. You're... are you sure? You look so young. He fought us! I'm not a child. I'm a grown man. Don't need to say that line. You saw what I was... what I am capable of. Clearly. Chieftain, I humbly request this honor from you. You have no objections? No, of course not. Your magical talents will help. I am sure you'll be a great asset to Soramia. Just promise you'll be careful. Hmm. Of course. So, Zoramia, you should be grateful I'm going to aid you in your endeavor. Thank you. I am, Hayato. Thank you. We're glad to have you. <laughs> you can depend on me. Listen. Alright, everyone. We're off to Izumo. We might be able to learn more about this Seal of Flames. And that is the end of Chapter 9. Wow, we had a lot taken care of. 
So there are some inconsistencies in recordings. I did a prior, I did three recordings prior. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the catastrophe that happened at the end of those recordings. Go ahead and see those right now. Ah! Come on, survive! No! I think I messed up. I got so close. No! Shoot. I was this close! I was at the final boss in the area! Boss of the air. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, come on. Beautiful. Brain is working. Ugh. Ah! No! This is my third attempt. Ugh. And now that we're back, it's time I go ahead and take care of a few things. All the stars are in alignment with me now. Let's do this. Magic and resistance are raised. Cool. Pearl spring. Got two pearls. Topaz mine. Got two topaz. Um. Private quarters. Invite an ally. Rinka. Because I can. What is it? You're not going to lecture me on my temper again, are you? No. Oh. You want candy? I got some candy. I actually do have some candy. Are we done here? I need to get back to training. More than I admit. I thought, that, I thought there was like a bag of lollipops under my desk. There is. And there's a container of skills behind me. Or behind the computer. Whatever. Okay. Moving on. Uh, we have Lilith's temple, of course. Give food. Meat. Uh, yeah, meat. Meat, 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 meat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Well, she scarfed that down in no time flat. Feel more powerful now. I'd like to offer thanks. Please take this gift. A gold bar. Every three levels after level one. So it would be it would be you'd go level two, three, and on the fourth level she'd give you a gold bar. On the seventh level she'd give you a gold bar. On level ten she'd give you a gold bar. Those kind of things. Well. We have new buildings to build and a new building to upgrade. Zoramia statue. This is after we get a certain value, uh, a certain level, I believe. We get the arena and the dawn and dusk dragon. Um, I'm not going to build the dawn and dusk dragon, nor am I going to build the armory. Instead, I'm going to build the accessory shop, like I said prior. And now that I have that built, uh, you know, yeah, why not? Let's build the lottery shop. Are you kidding me? All right. Let's put the lottery shop right here. So the first time you go into the accessory shop, like we said earlier, have a free trainee. Um, I have more... Oh, I don't have more supplies. Hot dang. Is there anything I can buy? Nope. Nothing yet. Okay. Um, so my advice from the beginning of the video still stands. Uh, I would recommend getting the beach towel if you can. It does help when we get one thing later on. I may not have said uh, what that thing was. I may have, I may not. I don't remember because it was a prior recording. But um, it is the hot springs. Yes, we will be showing off one instance of the hot springs. We will not be going back to it ever again after that on the recordings. Um, unless I find a way to 
Well, I actually can't do marriage at that point. Okay. So in Fire Emblem Revelations, because you don't because you don't ally your army with Nor or Hoshido initially, you have the option to do either of those two lotteries. I'm gonna do the Dusk Lottery and see what I get. Drum roll, please. I mean, I knew it was gonna—I knew it was going to be a consolidation prize, but it's milk. Something I didn't have an abundance of, actually. I didn't have any of it. Okay. Um, I believe that is everything for the moment, with a couple exceptions. Um, sell, convoy, gold bar. Yes, please. Um. Now our. Oh, support. That's right. I was like, what am I missing this round? Zoramia has two supports. Azur. Jacob has three supports. Okay. Anna. Okay. All right. Let's start with Zoramia. Jacob is about to reach A rank. That is as far as I'm going with Jacob. Lady Zoramia, may I have a moment? Of course, Jacob. And thanks again for teaching me how to make tea. As always, I am delighted to serve you. You look pretty unhappy for a man who's supposed to, supposedly delighted. What's wrong? I... I need to apologize to you, my lady. I am truly, deeply sorry. Huh? What for? The truth is, your tea was quite bitter. Undrinkably so. When you handed me the pot, I secretly added some hot... <laughs> hot water and <laughs> more... <laughs> I'm reading it backwards. Added some sugar and more hot water. I shouldn't have done it. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. I just... I couldn't stand to watch you do it wrong any longer, so... <laughs> <laughs> Lady Zoramia. Sorry, Jacob. I knew you did that. Y you did? Then you... You won't punish me for interfering? Not at all. You were only trying to help me. I admit, I was too stubborn about it. So I think that makes us even, don't you? You are the most... You are most... Magnanimous, milady. I've never heard that word before. I'm gonna look that up later. Well, I also learned something from this. I still need your help to stay on track, Jacob. So, can I count on you to stick with me even when I'm a stubble- stub- So, can I count on you to stick with me even when I'm a stubborn mule? Of course I will. I promise never to leave your side. In all honesty, I seem to fall apart when I'm not with you as well. It's funny how alike we are. That you would even compare us in that way. I might faint with joy. No fainting, Jacob. Jacob? Jacob? Wake up! <laughs> That's cute. Um, Rinka will get our first C rank conversation. We have done this in Birthright, but for Revelation, we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Rinka? Rinka? Over here. Did you need something done? Sort of. I'd like to ask your opinion on something. Take a look at this map. If we are positioned here, the enemy attacks from here, what should we do? If a unit detached and came at them from the river, do you think they'd cluster? If so, we could hit them with a volley, but if we fail, the attacking force might rout. Rinka, are you listening to me? You know as well as I am that- You know as well as I that I am not a tactician. Why are you here? Hoping to make friends? Sorry to disappoint you. I'm just here to carry out orders. Nothing more. Farewell. Hey! Hey, wait! I'm not done talking yet. I have nothing to discuss with you. Leave me alone. You know I can't do that. We're allies. I have to be able to communicate with you. That's not what I meant. I will still listen to and follow any orders you want to give. But otherwise, do not speak to me. What is wrong with you? <sighs> My apologies. Perhaps I went too far. That is no way to talk to one superior. I'm grateful you spared my life when I was your prisoner, and I will follow you whenever you decide to lead us. However, I neither need nor desire your attention. Please leave me alone. Hmm. Alright. Azura and Jacob. Jacob, I know this is personal, but I'd like to hear more about your childhood. Hmm. What I said the other day must have bothered you. I know I shouldn't pry. I just can't imagine not knowing my own mother. Well, I'm afraid I must begin by apologizing to you, my lady. I lied. 
In truth, I remember both of my parents, although I often wish I could forget them. What? You see, they chose to forget me. They left me on the doorstep of Castle Krakenberg. They abandoned you? My parents were well off, but cold. They neither they cared neither for each other nor for me. I cannot remember a single hap I cannot recall a single happer hap happery happy memory from that time. One day they handed me over to the to be a servant at the castle. That was the end. How terrible. I'm so sorry, Jacob. I didn't mean to bring up something so painful. Ah, it is nothing. Don't worry about it, Lady Ezra. It's all in the past. Don't think I'll be able to forget so easily. You're very brave, Jacob. Nonsense, my lady. Now, if you'll excuse me, Lady Zoramia will be wanting tea. B rank conversation. I had forgotten in this file that they talked with each other once. Jacob and Hana. Hey there, Jacob. Hello, Hana. On your way to train some more? I am. Did you want to join me? No, thank you. Unlike some people I know, I do not have any time to spar. It's fair. I don't have a lot of free time either. I just made a point of setting some time aside to train when I can. I don't particularly care how you choose to spend your time. You know, Jacob, I'm not sure anyone has ever mentioned this to you. You're pretty rude. I've heard that. It's usually coming from people not worth my time. Ooh, I see. It's not just that you're rude, you're rotten through and through. Ugh, whatever. There are better uses for my time than having this conversation with you. I need to continue improving myself to better protect Sakura. You give your free time for the benefit of someone else. Of course. And she gets more than just my free time. If needed, I would lay down my life to protect her. Interesting. Perhaps she is worth your time, Jacob. Try to listen to people for a change. I believe that is all of the conversations. There we go. We're good with the conversations. We're good with this, that, the other. Every, Everyone and their brother is taken care of. All right. So I believe that is everything for our current uh, segment of Fire Emblem Fates uh, Revelation. Thank you so much for joining us once again at Mindsight Games. My name is Insight, and next... Excuse me, next time we will be tackering tackering tackling chapter 10 Voice of a God. See you guys in Izumo.